Hi and welcome to the Ruby Tuesday. My name is Ruben and this is my review for Amazon's original series, The Tick, Season 2. So in Season 1 of The Tick, we saw Arthur and The Tick team up. Arthur learns how to become a hero and about his past. He tries to, he tries to help The Tick with his past and his memory loss and they fight villains for the first time. His sister is slightly included in that hero team. And by the end of Season 1, and I'm keeping it kind of spoiler for you just in case you haven't seen it yet, they are almost this kind of rough, ragtag band of heroes. And what? I didn't actually grow up watching The Tick. I have seen a couple of the original old ones, and I think they've done quite a bit of fan service and nods towards the old content, but they've kind of done their own thing as well. Fantastic! I love the relationship between Arthur and The Tick in season two. So the core premise of this is Arthur wants to join Aegis and become one of the five, the fame five. <laughs> and Tick wants to help him, as always, realize his dream. And so that's the outer core of the premise, this kind of story of how it goes about and what Aegis has got to do with his past and other storylines and his sister is also involved. And there are these these other heroes that are now in the world that come in and out of the storyline. I don't want to mention any names of the heroes because it's a lot of fun just seeing them kind of come in and out of each episode. There are a lot of unusual characters I wasn't expecting right? and I love how the series also keeps you guessing at no point did I guess who was the good guy who's the bad guy it's constantly changing on its head the story goes one way then it takes you another way and I thought I knew who the bad guys were and I thought I knew who the good guys were and it kind of keeps you fresh the whole way season two doesn't take itself seriously which I'm really glad they didn't there are so many superhero stories out at the moment and the DC verse and stuff like that that kind of take themselves really seriously and they're doing what they do and some of it's good but here we get a storyline where sometimes it does get emotional and you are invested in the characters but for the most part it's just a lot of fun to watch. What was that? The take and his over goodness in every episode kind of weighs down on the bad guys and he just will not let go of being the good guy at the same time it's interesting seeing the tech learn to do things that he's not used to like lie for example you need a hug that's what i found really fun about this series you do get to see the characters go through their kind of progressing nature in their character arc so you want arthur to learn what it is to be a hero and he does a lot more of that in this series but there are also other character arcs that i wasn't expecting to have so much time of um, particularly my favorite character in the series now is not the tick which is surprising but the boat the artificial intelligence the storyline with him i thought was really good and probably had the most weight for me he runs hot and then there's the storyline of Arthur's sister. I won't go into spoilers, but let me just say, it was a lot of fun seeing what they did with her. And so you have all these mingling story arcs that make for a really cohesive storyline. And it probably like episode three and six and nine, they drop kind of bombs in the major arc story, which is a lot of fun. There are characters that are also kind of hovering about like Superior. He's mental. He doesn't know what to do with himself. And I just love all the character arcs. And I think they've done it really well because there's so much going on in this series, so many kind of storylines going one way and going another way that it could easily just be a mess. But because they have the central line and this baseline that's just really fun to watch, it kind of draws it all together. I had a lot of fun watching this. I'd say that if you enjoyed season one, you're gonna love season two. We'll be working on that one a lot. It feels like they've been given a bigger budget, so the graphics and the special effects look better. The costumes are as quirky and funny as always, but they don't look really bad. The cheesiness is still there in the dialogue, and the characters and the actors play off each other really well. Blind. It's staring right at me. But for the most part, it's a really well-rounded series. I think we're probably going to get a few more seasons from it because it seems to be picking up momentum. And if they keep giving the budget to it and kind of Amazon keeps pushing it out, I think we could see quite a few more series like this. I, for one, am really looking forward to what they're going to do with it because that last episode, like the first season, they kind of drop a bomb in you and go, huh, now deal with this. <laughs> And I'm not going to do any spoilers, but it is a doozy. There's a couple of moments in that last episode where they go, here's a, uh, an arc that you weren't expecting, and here's something to do with the character that you weren't expecting. And I was like, Pff. and I was also like, no, don't leave me like that, because I want to know what's going to happen. And we're probably going to have to wait another year. I really enjoyed this, so I'm going to give 
Tick Season 2 and A. Thanks for watching this review. Do let me know in the comments below if you're a fan of the tech and you like what they've done. What characters are you looking forward to maybe seeing in this season and future ones? Maybe you're a fan of the original content. Got loads of other content dropping this week. I've also got Sabrina Season 2 that's just dropped and a number of others that we're preparing for Netflix who are dropping um, content so fast these days. I've also got an exclusive interview from the director of the film The Prospect which I'll drop a review for that next week. It's an indie sci-fi um, very cool film. I wasn't expecting it to be as good as that so we've got lots coming so if you enjoy my content and like my reviews please do subscribe and hit, hit that bell. Chat to me in the comments. I love chatting to you guys there but most of all until next time remember live long and choose.